Hello everyone and welcome back to Tyndall Lost Gaming and welcome to episode 6 of my playthrough of Arkham Horror 3rd Edition. We are playing Ithaca's Children scenario from one of the expansions, I think it's the Into the Deep expansion. I'm uh, going to go across to the table in just a second but I just wanted to be, give everybody a bit of good news. We have now hit 100 subscribers on the channel so thank you all so much and very much for subscribing to the channel um, looking to play some more games get some fun on the table and uh, different uh, variations board games skirmish games card games that sort of thing so really really happy we've hit the 100 subscribers so thank you all very much um, we have been playing through with kate zoe and preston um, we're going to come look like i said i'm going to come to the board in a second but Little bit of sad news, unfortunately. Um, Preston has been retired. He's off to hospital to suffer or to, to be recuperating from his injuries. But Zoe Barnes has uh, stepped into the mix to uh, take up the mantle of trying to stop uh, Ithaca and his child or children from entering into Arkham. So without further ado, let's get on to the table. And here we are at the table. Let's get rid of the dice cam. Let's see if we can bring up the table cam, which should be in place. Let's uh, go to there. There we go. We've got the table cam. And you can see Jenny Barnes just started, but she's got a twin 45. She's currently engaged in a curse to Mumba list. Got her search for Izzy. Then we've got Kate Winthrop, who has got all the stuff. She is blessed, I need to remember she is blessed. Um, she's got three clues on her, all sorts of stuff going in. This cook from the scenario, Prudence is helping out. We've got the lucky cigarette case. We've got Eben Hall's journal, which is awesome. So she's doing some pretty heavy lifting. And then we've got Zoe Samaris, Samaris just spin that around a bit there we go um, so she is our sort of monster killer but she's taken a bit of a beating so of her allies um, but she's got some health in Turin um, but yeah so she's doing pretty good where we are in regards to the scenario we've currently got seven doom and we're about to do something in a second to fix that or we'll make it even worse but we've currently got seven doom on the scenario these are the codex cards Oops, there we go that are out. Here, I made a mistake last game. Um, we should have taken, uh, um, we should have spread terror and removed three of the doom from here, which is what I did, but I forgot to remove the three doom. So we're going to take those off, but unfortunately, one of those is going to go on. I can get round to mine tokens there we go one of those is going to go so we're at eight of ten unfortunately eight of ten well we can see we've got zoe and we've got kate in central kingsport there we go and then we've got got Jenny over in East Town. And there we go. We have a board. Look. And then we'll come back to the main table. Okay. Just put my table cam down. Might need to use that in a bit. So we're fixed. We're fixed that. So without further ado, let is, let's get on to the action phase. Right, what do we need to do? So first of all, I think I'm gonna go with Kate. I'm gonna go with Kate. And her first action is gonna be to do Count of Magic, which is part of the, one of the scenario cards. 
It says action, test law minus one. If you succeed, spend one clue from the scenario sheet to place one face up marker in your space. Perform this action only in a neighborhood that does not contain a white marker. If a neighborhood in each Sims Mouth Kingsport and Arkham has a face up white marker, return cards 93 and 94 to the codex. So she's gonna do that to start off with. Now Kate's law is three. She has focused in it, which takes her to four, but we're testing at minus one. So she's gonna go back to three. Three law, she's not casting a spell. It's just a test, so Evan Hall's journal doesn't kick in. But we've got a few bits there if we need to. Um, we've got um, our lucky cigarette case if we need it. So let's get over to the dice cam. She is blessed. So she's rolling fours and above. And she gets all three. There we go. Hopefully that's the sign of things to come. So we're going to take a... We're going to take a clue off the scenario sheet, put that back in the thing, and we're going to put a white token down. Oh, we'll put a white token down in Central Kingsport. So now we have um, a white token in both Innsmouth and Kingsport. Next thing she is going to do is she's going to move. Why does my camera keep doing that? Apologies, camera just keeps chipping out for a minute. Okay, so second action for Kate, she is gonna move and she's gonna go one to go on the travel route. She's gonna pay her dollar, which she's got, and she's gonna come down here into north side, I think. North side, there we go. So there's one to move in, and then she can move out for two. She had a move left. So she's in the train station at the moment. And that's it for Kate. Zoe, what's Zoe gonna do? What's Zoe gonna do? We seem to be fairly done over in Central Kingsport and in mouth now, so I think her first action so Zoe's first action is going to be to spend, uh, to go, she's on the travel route, so she's going to spend her dollar. She's going to come down to here for one. Or do you, does the travel route, do you just pay that? Okay, um, the travel route section says that you pay a dollar to, as part of your move and you move. So. She's paid a dollar to move from here to here. So she hasn't actually moved yet. So she's gonna go one, two to Mars boarding house where it looks like she might be able to clear or get rid of some, hopefully pay some money to heal. That would be good. We can heal off Zoe's cross, which would be awesome. So she's got a second action. She's got a focus limit of two. She's already focused twice. Got no clues on her. What are we gonna do? Might as well have a go. Can we have a go at Warden? Yeah, let's have a go at Warden just to try and keep on top of the, the doom. So let's bring the dice cam up. So Zoe's got a law of three. Um, she's focused in it, which takes her to four. So she's going to ward in the doom. She needs two successes. She needs fives. And we get one. We get one success. What else have we got? She's got the rabbit's foot. Got Oliver McBride we could re-roll. Um, once per round. I'm going to leave the rabbit's foot up just in case I need it later. So I'm just going to take the one doom. Just going to take the one doom off of this space. Oh. I'll 
just noticed this has got six on it as well. <laughs> so that's gonna, I'll take that off and put that on there. So we're at nine, oh God. We are really, really knocking on the doors now, unfortunately. We're at nine doom of 10. This could be a very quick session, unfortunately, to need today, ladies and gentlemen. But there we go, We are, it is what it is, it is what it is. My apologies for that. Uh, when there are ten or more, what's the When a neighbourhood has six more doom, remove all doom, place one doom, then spread terror in that neighbourhood. Um, so we need to put a terror on it. So that goes to three. And we put another terror card on the south side. There we go ouch ouch so that was zoe's second action was the ward okay apologies for that so we've removed the doom actually i took it from here so i'm going to move that one down there because she warded for one and there was two on there already so i've taken one off there and that one is gone back there and obviously we took the three off there which then put the doom on <laughs> ithaca's children oh my goodness right so that is it for zoe flip her over and then we've got Jenny Barnes uh, who is currently engaged with an accursed Sonombolist who is a fight of two oops there we go after you defeat this monster as part of an attack action test will if you fail become cursed oh dear so Jenny is going to shoot with her twin 45s, both hands. So she has got a strength of three. And the uh, twin 45 gives her plus three as part of an attack action. And I may add I may add one to the result of one dice as part of an attack action. So her first action, sorry, I haven't got a Zoe, I haven't got a Jenny name, but let's see what she does. First action. We need to do two wounds on the accursed Sonombolist. Okay, we are just about there. That's a three. But we do the two damage, which kills the accursed Sonombolist. Doesn't give us any remnants, which is a bit cheeky. And if you fail, so we need to now test uh, Will. Her will is three. We don't want Jenny to become cursed. That would be a right nightmare. So a will of three for Jenny. Come on, five. Ah, three twos. I called it, didn't I? Goes to the front there. Have we got anything we can do? Yes, we've got search for Izzy. Once per round while resolving a test, you may suffer one damage and one horror to re-roll any number of dice. Well, we will, and we'll put both of those on search for Izzy. They've got two, it's two and two, two health and two sanity. So we'll put one and one. We'll re-roll the test. Come on. Oh, God. Ugh. Okay, well, there we go. Jenny is cursed, and the curse doesn't really make any difference which one I take because it's blessed on the back. There's cursed. Why is that? It feels a bit slow today. There's cursed. Okay. Right. That was Jenny's first action now being cursed she is going to have a go for a second action at putting a she's got a clue so she's going to do a research test which is observation she's observation three um two reasons for doing this obviously first one is that we as soon as we get us um if we get a clue onto the um onto the uh scenario she, that means that kate can then 
put another white marker down hopefully um, and also um, it will get rid of her curse but we do need to roll a six so let's see what we get three dice no more no minuses we need one six and we get it and we get it a little bit of luck so cursed goes because curse says well resolving a test only sixes count after you pass a test to discard this card so jenny was cursed for all of 30 seconds which is good and also we get to put her clue onto the scenario sheet which is awesome there we go excellent 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 uh, and that was Jenny's second action we do need to really think about um, keeping managing the doom now because one more and we're at 10 not too bad over here a little bit bad over here you know one gate burst of wire yeah so it's not good but anyway here's what it is here's what it is so that is it for the action phase. And we're gonna go on to the monster phase. Jenny's got no monsters with her. Kate's got no monsters with her. Zoe's got no monsters with her. And we've got no monsters in play. I'm doing a very detailed check, checking all the streets, because I've missed those before, but nothing in the streets, nothing in any of the, um, neighborhoods so we are good to move on to the encounter phase and as ever we will start with zoe who is in Southside, and Southside has got three doom on it here's the the south side deck Okay, so first of all is Terra. And we've got three on us. Which means someone has left a length of rope knotted around an ice crusted ice encrusted tree. Test law minus one. So Zoe is law minus one. She's three, she's four, she's three. We pass. We pass. If you pass, you realise the pattern of knots is a coded message directing directing you to shelter for the cult. There we go. So that's that one. Done. And then Zoe's going to get her normal encounter. Let's just put those to one side for a second at south side. And she is in Ma's boarding house. Ma hums a gruff tune as she works in the kitchen. Just the smell of food makes you feel better. You or an ally may recover to health. Foods only for those that have got a room, she snaps. You may spend one dollar for you or an ally to recover two health. If you do, it tastes as good as it smells, become driven. She's already driven. So, first of all, she's gonna heal two. She's gonna heal two. And she's gonna take that off her Zoe's cross. So that resets that effectively. And then she will take, she's gonna take two off Delilah Rourke, because she is quite good. After you deal damage as part of an attack, she may deal one additional damage. So Delilah's fully healed now as well. And there we go, that is south side. And that is Zoe's encounter. We then move across to Kate, and Kate is in Northside train station. So Northside, I think, is this one. That's the Northside, and it's got a Terra card left on it, three Terra. So let's turn it over and see what we get. 
three to four. The frozen world around you shines and sparkles in the low light like a fractured mirror. Snow blind, you stagger and fall, sliding down a slope of jagged ice that tears at your skin and clothing. You suffer two damage and struggle to find your feet. Okay, suffer two damage. Kate's going to suffer two damage. Ooh. Right. Prudence. Prudence is going to take one, which kills her, unfortunately. So Prudence is, is deceased. So she goes back into the ally deck at the bottom. One more to give. Um, could be a bit of a problem because we're going to have to give it to Kate, who's on three health of five. Oh, that takes a. Okay, can't give it to. I don't want to give it to Inscook. So three. Or do I? Yeah, I'm not using that, so I can go on to can go on to Innscook and that's gonna go. That is gonna go, and that's gonna go in that deck when I get a chance. I might regret that. I might regret that, but it is what it is. There we go. So that was the terror test. Now we take the normal test and she is at the train station. The train arrives despite the storm and your friend is here, gain an ally. <laughs> okay, well that was handy. So top one of the ally deck is gonna be. Uh, Lewis Hayes. You gain plus two when casting a spell. Ooh. Kate is just a beast. Kate is just a beast when it comes to casting spells. So she's got Eben Hall's journal and now she's got Lewis Hayes who's four sanity as well. One help, but four sanity. So that's the first part of that. You notice the crew unloading a large number of crates. You try to see what it is. Test observation. Observation of four. She is blessed. Anything else of observation? I don't think so. She's not casting a spell, but she's four observation. Needing fours. She passes. If you pass, you confirm that someone is importing an incredible amount of food. Gain one item, gain one clue from your neighborhood. So she is going to get the clue from north side. She's now got four clues on her. She is rocking it. That goes up there. That's the clue one. And north side comes back down. And that's it for Kate. And then we move on to Jenny, who's in East Town at the police station. And Jenny is going to get... Police station. As you pass by a holding cell, you see a woman with long black hair frantically scrawling strange words onto the floor. Test influence. She's an influence of four. Jenny's an influence of four, which is good. So we're gonna roll her dice. She passes with two successes. If you pass, she rushes over to you and says in a hurried whisper, it's to keep Arkham safe. Here, I know a room that can help. She scribbles black smudges onto the back of your hand. Become blessed. Oh, nice. So in the space of less than a round, Jenny's gone from being cursed to being blessed. 
We'll take that. Jenny is blessed. Excellent. Excellent. And that's it for Jenny's encounter. We then go on to the very delightful Mythos phase. And as ever, we start with Zoe. Put these to one side for a sec. Right, here we go. First one for Zoe is going to be a blank. Just make sure there's no nothing on there. She no, she's not got that card anymore. So next one for Zoe is going to be a headline. Oh, I hate these bloody things. Right, here we go. Headline. Occult activity threatens city. Headline, choose one. Place one doom in your space. Spawn one monster in your space. I'm not placing a doom. No, I'm going to spawn a monster. Because Jenny likes monsters. Uh, sorry, Zoe likes monsters. So, let's grab the monster in the back. Altered Servant. Altered Servant's going to spawn with Zoe. So it's two strength, gives us a remnant, no minus, minus one to evade. Pretty. It is a thrall. It's a thrall. Oh, it says on the headline spawn one monster in your space, it engages you or another monster in your space. So the Altered Servant. Engages Jenny, no, sorry, Zoe. Now, as it does that, as it does that, um, I am gonna Zoe's cross it. You may deal one damage to this item, so I'm gonna put a damage on Zoe's cross. Down it. Uh, deal damage. So I'm going to test will. She is will of four. That's the second one. Sorry. So she is a will of four. And there we go. The power of Zoe's cross. Deal damage to that monster equal to your result. One, two, three. Altered Servant is killed. It's a Thrall monster. So it says on Bent to His Will of 93, after you defeat a Thrall monster in a location with no marker, you may spend one clue from the scenario, scenario sheet to place one green face-up marker in your space. I am going to do that. Give myself options. So there's a green marker now in the space with Zoe. That's that clue spent. Altered Servant goes back in. <laughs> nice. Very nice. This game could come back and bite me in a minute, I think. So that was it for Zoe's Mythos phase. We're now going to go on to Kate's Mythos phase. We've got three left in the bag. So the first one is going to be oh, another headline. This one time is a headline for Kate. And we get test, test Will. She's a Will of two. But she is rolling four fours. So two dice. Uh, needing fours. Has she got anything she can do? She's not casting a spell. Not a ward. Lucky cigarette case, we've got to remember. Uh, research notes as well, so let's see. We do pass. We pass with a six. Oh, sorry. There we go, one and a six. So it says, if you pass, become driven. Well, um, um, oh, that's Kate. Kate isn't driven. Zoe's driven. 
Oh. Let's just get the driven. Kate is now driven, which means her focus limit is increased by one, so she goes up to four. Okay, that was the first one for Kate. Second one for Kate is Spawn a Monster. Icebound Captive. Spawn at street nearest leader. That's going to be Zoe's our leader. And there's a street right here. Each investigator suffers damage. Need to kill that. Need to kill that. That's what took Preston out. That's what took Preston out. So that's Kate's all done. And then we move on to Jenny for her mythos phase. Oh, there's two left in here. So there's that one, which is spread doom. Doom in place. And the doom is going to go at Mars boarding house. Mars boarding house. Outside, yeah. That goes in there, and then the last token which is the last token in the bag, is Spread Doom. <laughs> Delightful. And that's going to go at Rivertown 2 in the graveyard. Oh, that's a bit annoying. 2 in the graveyard in Rivertown. Mythos phase. Now all of those can go back in the bag because we've taken them all out. They can all be mixed up, go back in, ready for the next session. Okay, we are back to the action phase. I think I want to start off with Kate because hopefully Kate can put another marker down. So her first Kate, Kate's first action is to research, testing observation. She's observation of four to try and put a clue on the scenario sheet. Roll it. Four observation, it's an observation test. Fours, she passes. So, one of her four clues goes onto the scenario sheet. And then, what she's going to do test law minus one. So, she's going to do the countered magic from the codex. Her law is three. Um, because she's focusing but it's minus one so she again she needs balls smashes it absolutely smashes it so that means that we get to put a white marker a white marker perform this action in your neighborhood if your if one neighbourhood in each Innsmouth, Kingsport and Arkham, which it does, Kingsport here, Innsmouth here, 
North side or Arkham here. Return cards 93 and 94 to the codex. Well, we didn't have 94 because it was one of those ones where we had to pick. So it then says, flip this card. Move all blue and green markers on the board to the scenario sheet. Well, there's a green marker there, and there's a green marker there. Add one blank token to the Mythos Cup for each marker moved this way. Okay, bear with me. So two green markers, there's two blanks going into the bag. Then choose one. You may attempt to erect an eternal ward around the region, add card 101 to the codex. codex. If there are any blue markers on the scenario sheet, you may attempt to banish Ithaca to another world, add card 97 to the codex. If there are any green markers on the scenario sheet, you may attempt to seal Ithaca under the polar ice, add 98, then return this card to the archive. Ah, oh, come on. We are gonna be going for sealing Ithaca under the polar ice every day of the week. Card 98 to the codex. Then that card goes back. Card 98. There's 98. We need to put 95 back. Put 95 back. <laughs> Certainly keeps you fit in this game. And walk around the table like anything. I always have my chair out, but I never bloody sit down. Right. Card 98. Seal it the colour away. The heart of ice is tied to the wind walker's very essence. Using the magical wards you've already started to build, you realise you have an opportunity to seal the Ancient One within the artefact, preventing the white silence from inflicting any more souls in this world. Encounter. So, test law, minus one. If you, spend, if you pass, spend one clue from the scenario sheet or place three doom in your space to flip a marker in your space face down. When all markers have been flipped face down, flip this card. What markers? Ah, the white markers. The white markers, you plonker. Okay, okay. Okay. So that was Kate's first action. <laughs> that was Kate's first action to... to um, no, she's, no, 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 she's done two actions. She put one, she put the clue onto the scenario sheet and then she's taken it off. So that's Kate done. Turn her over. Now we need to, we need to, what we're testing law. Let's, yeah, let's, we could, it's a race against time now, I think. So I'm gonna activate um, Zoe now who's going to go one, two to there and spend her dollar to come up over here. That was her first action. Her second action Or do we not want to do that? Because she's only got two actions. She's already driven. She's already law. We need law. She's already focused in law. Gain a dollar. Second action is to gain a dollar. She's going to stay there. Um, oh, hang on. 
no, that's it, that's fine, she's good. So that's Zoe done, and then we move on to Jenny. Jenny needs to get, um, can we get Jenny up there? She's only law one though, but she is blessed. It's a risk, it's a risk. First action for Jenny. I'm gonna not, I'm gonna remove her observation because um, she's only focus limit of one and change it for a focus in law. So that's that, so she's focused. Second action, she's gonna move one, two, she'll pay her dollar, she's got five dollars. So she's gonna have four left, four left to come up here, to there, and then she's gonna pay two dollars to keep moving. One, two. If we can survive this, we might have a chance. We might have a chance. So that is it for the action phase. They've all, yeah, that's cool, so I'll turn Zoe over, it's being finished. We then go on to the monster phase. Oh, do, 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 do. oh I should have killed that icebound captive. Oh, do I want to do that? Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Let's just go back to the action phase. And Jenny. No, we'll keep it like that. We'll keep it like that. Monster phase. Um, each investigator is going to take a damage from this icebound captive. Unfortunately, so one, two, three. So Jenny's going to take one. Um, Uh, let's have a look. Delilah's going to take one for Zoe. Actually, no. The painkillers is going to take one for Zoe, and that takes the painkillers out of the market. So they're gone. And then we need to put one on Kate. Sorry, Lewis. You're going to go one on Lewis, which kills him might regret that but she's already got plus two for casting I think that's overkill I just want to try and keep him alive so that's it for the monster phase he's a lurker so he's going to stay there there are no other monsters Jenny hasn't got a monster Kate hasn't got a monster Zoe hasn't got a monster and there are no monsters other than the lurker in the streets we then go on to the encounter phase, and as ever, we'll start with Zoe. Zoe's on a travel route. Zoe is on a travel route. And she is in a country road. You search a mangled, rust-covered car in a ditch. Gain one curio. Okay, what we got curio wise. Get plus three as a ward action. That's uh, uh, fine clothes. Actually, I think I will take the otherworldly codex. Zoe, she'll take that. Just in case we need to um, do some warding, and then we've got an enchanted knife. As part of an attack action, you may treat the attack modifier of your monster in your space as plus one. Ooh, nice. Doesn't give you any pluses though. Well, I suppose it does. Anyway, we were at the country road, weren't we? You hear ghostly screams from the victims of the wreck. Test observation. Sorry, test will. And this is Zoe and her will is full. To the will of four. Uh, okay, here's here's where the game starts to bite me. She's 
She hasn't passed. She's got a rabbit's foot. Yep, so we'll re-roll one dice for rabbit's foot. No. No. So, what does it say? If you pass, blah, blah, blah. If you fail, the voice continues to hold you become tainted. Okay. Tainted. Zoe is tainted. Move that down so I can get that there. That's it for Zoe's encounter. We move on to Kate. Kate's in the train station, north side. Hasn't got any terror on it, we've used it all, so we're going to go straight to an encounter. She is at the train station. You arrive at the train station, happy to collect an old friend, newly arrived in town. While you wait, the clock on the platform ticks away with a soothing regularity. Test will. Will of two. Needing fours. She gets it. If you succeed, you stay alert and watch the train roll in. If you fail, so nothing happens other than she's okay. So that's it for Kate. And then we go on to Jenny, who's up in Innsmouth Shore at Marsh Refinery. But it does have a terror on it. And it's got three on it. The woman huddled against the wind pleads for your help. Her face streaked with tears and someone else's blood. Will minus one. So she's a will of three. So that's two dice for Jenny. Two dice for Jenny and she is blessed. Come on, Jenny. Yep, she makes it. Two fours. That's good. Um, if you pass, you calmly but warily realise that she is a victim too. That's done. There we go. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, and now it's her normal encounter. Innsmouth Shore, and she's at Mars Refri Marsh Refinery. The refinery is closed due to snow, but a mechanic is working on the furnace. You ask about Innsmouth, influence. She has an influence of four. Four dice needing fours, being blessed. She's good and passes by one. If you pass, she warns you about the change that happens to people in this village. Gain one clue from the neighborhood. Thank you very much. Goes to Jenny. Uh, and one remnant. Lovely. So one remnant for Jenny. And that's the clue one done. And that's the encounter phase done. We then move on to the mythos phase. Right. So let's start off with Kate, uh, with Zoe, as we always do. We'll start off with Zoe, who is going to get the bag of girl shake, and Zoe's first one is going to be spreading doom. That's going to be at Innsmouth Shore at Falcon Point.
goes on the top there like that. So his second one is going to be <laughs> spreading do. And that's going to be East Town Hibbs Road House. Yeah, East Town Hibbs Road House. Okay, so far that's four. That's five up there, that's good. Okay, so that's it for Zoe. Then we're going to move on to Kate. <laughs> Spreading doom. Would you believe it? Uh, Central Kingsport. And it's going to be at Neil's Curiosity Shop. Central Kingsport. And then the second one for Kate is going to be Spread Terror. I always get a bit confused with Spread Terror. Oh, in the unstable space, sorry, I've been playing this bloody wrong. Spread to in the unstable space, which is Neil's curiosity shop. So there we go. And that's gonna run I'm gonna go on the top of Central King's Port. Car goes on the top. Right, cool. And then we move on. Oops. Then we move on to Jenny, who's going to get a reckoning. Oh dear. All right. Nothing here, but there's a reckoning here. Place one doom in any space in Innsmouth and in any space in Kingsport. Is this the? Is this going to be us? Yes, I think it is. So we could put one here. Let's make that three. And unfortunately. Oh no, one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, when a neighbour has a six or more, actually we'll put it on there, like that. We'll remove that. We'll put that on there, which makes 10. We'll put that on there, that makes 10. When there are 10 or more Doom on the scenario sheet, discard all markers from play and any number of clues from among the scenario sheet and all investigators. If a total of five clues and all markers were discarded this way, add card 102 to the archive. So, when it said discard all markers from play, and any number of clues from among the scenario sheet and all investigators. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clues and markers. Five or more, add 102 to the archive, to the codex, and discard this and return this to the archive. So we're done, we've removed eight. So let's see what 102 means. Right, it says take card 105, um, 
Ithaca epic monster and spawn it at the unstable space. Well, this is the epic monster and the unstable space is Neil's curiosity shop, which is in here. Uh, if it's already in play, recovers two health. Ithaca's health is reduced by two for each clue on the scenario sheet. Right. When Ithaca is defeated, flip this card and read no other way effect. When there are 15 or more due on the scenario sheet, flip this card and read it's all too much. Okay, so we need to be putting clues, getting clues and taking Ithaca's health off him that way. Three clues over here. No clues on our investigators, but anyway, there we go. So that was the reckoning. No other, oh, reckoning, tainted on Zoe. So we'll flip this card. Test Will. She's a Will of Four. Passes with two successes. Um, zero, you discard one talent. One to two, you discard all your focus tokens. Delightful. That was annoying. That was it for the reckoning. No other reckonings. So the final one out of the bag. Final one out of the bag for Jenny is bloody hell a gate burst. Jesus Christ. Gate burst is going to go in Central Kingsport. <laughs> so one, two, three, that's going to push it all the way up again. So that's going to come off and we put a token, a lovely token there to take us to 11 already. And that's it for the mythos phase. Well. Let's leave it on a cliffhanger there. We have our investigators. Ithaca is out. We need to, we've got a few rounds to kill it. Zoe's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Um, we need to be getting, Kate to be getting those clues in Rivertown. There, there's a whole shed load of clues in Rivertown, so that's where Kate's going next. Jenny's gonna come down and help um, Zoe, and then Zoe and and uh, Zoe and Zoe Jenny, I think, are gonna pile into Ithaca. But we will be doing that on the next uh, episode of Ithaca's Children from Arkham Horrors, third edition. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Looks like it's pretty much going to be the last episode. We're going to get to seven episodes on this, which is uh, pretty decent. Um, so it's not usually, it doesn't take seven hours to play through. It's because I'm explaining stuff as we go in. When you're playing it with friends, it, it goes a lot quicker. Still, It's still a, a few hours game, don't get me wrong. But um, anyway, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying the channel. Um, and I will see you on the next episode. Tati bye for now.